Hello friends, welcome to Zeta Axis and today we will discuss comparison between tropical and polar jet streams. We know that there are four jet streams in our earth, two polar and two tropical jet streams. Now even though both the tropical and polar jet streams are generated by similar processes, even then there exists some difference between both these jet streams. So let's see what are these differences. The polar jet stream is located between 40 to 60 degree north while the tropical jet stream is located between 30 to 35 degree latitude. The polar jet streams are located over polar low pressure belt. They are found at the convergence of feral cell and polar cell. While the tropical jet stream are located over the high pressure belt and they are found at the convergence of headley cell and feral cell. The polar jet stream shows large variation in flow strength and location. Now the reason for this we will discuss later in this video but the polar stream as you can see it can be confined very close to the north pole and it can extend to a greater distance in the southern direction till north america so there is large variation in polar jet streams but the tropical jet streams they show very less variation they do not migrate so much as the polar jet stream migrates now let's see why polar stream can migrate so much now here we can see that the polar jet stream is formed due to the pressure gradient created by difference in temperature of air masses. We can see that around 60 to 70 degree, the cold polar air mass meets the warm air mass brought by westerlies. And because of the difference in temperatures, there is a very huge pressure gradient and therefore the air in the upper atmosphere moves at very high velocity, generating a very high Coriolis force. Thus, we see formation of polar jet stream. However, if we see the tropical jet stream, it is created due to circulation of air. Here we can see Hadley cell, there is a collection of air over here because the air is rising up and therefore here we will find there is a high pressure. Here the air descends, therefore in the upper atmosphere there is low pressure because air is descending and going downwards, therefore there is a depletion of air over here. Now because of this, there exists a pressure gradient in the upper atmosphere and due to which we see formation of tropical jet streams. So we have seen that the polar jet stream depends on the temperature while the tropical jet stream is more dependent on the circulation. Now this circulation is more or less fixed and remains permanent while the temperature variation varies in summer and winter. In winter the temperature difference is very high therefore the pressure gradient is high and we see a very strong jet stream. While in summer, the temperature difference is not that much high. Therefore, the jet stream, the polar jet stream, weakens in summers. Here we can see that the polar jet stream is more dependent on temperature as we have discussed, while the tropical jet stream is less dependent on temperature. The polar jet stream is strongest in winter. The tropical jet stream is also strongest in winter. But the polar jet stream is as much as two to three times stronger than it is in summer because here the temperature difference plays major role. Now here I want to inform you that the pressure gradient created by temperature as well as air circulation is responsible for creation for both of these jet streams. But the major factor for creation of polar jet stream is pressure gradient generated by temperature while the major factor in creation of tropical jet stream is the pressure gradient generated by the circulation of air. I hope you liked our video and if you have liked it then please subscribe and like our channel and please share it with your friends.